Do you want to be a smart zero user? Then you've got to spend five minutes watching this. This is an absolute cracker. Do you make mistakes when you're coding transactions in zero? Of course, we all do. And not only do we make mistakes, but often we'll make multiple mistakes. If we do something wrong once, we'll probably do it wrong 20 times. But do you know that there's a simple way in zero to not just correct one mistake, but to correct multiple mistakes? We're going to look at the option in zero to find and recode. It is so powerful. Let's dive into zero and check it out. Okay, we're in a demo company and we're going to look at a simple example where I've got four Vodafone invoices for mobile phones and instead of being coded to telephone, they've been coded to subscriptions. So I want to change the coding in them. So what would I do? I can go to accounts and I can search for them. So I can do a search for Vodafone. and I can find my four invoices. I can select one of them. And there you can see it's been coded to subscriptions. I can choose bill options and I can choose edit. And I can amend that for, from subscriptions to telephone and then I would update. I'm not gonna do it. And I would have to do that four times to make my amendments. If I'd made this mistake, 20 times I would have to go through it 20 times but I'm going to show you another way. We're going to go to the advisor tab so you have to have advisor status in zero before you can do this and we choose the final option which is find and recode and then we say yep we want to find and recode and then it asks us what conditions are we looking for which transactions do we want to find so click on add a condition and these are the conditions that you can select. So you can select transactions that have gone to a specific account, transactions with a specific total, or transactions entered by an individual. So if one person makes a mistake on a regular basis, you can pick up their transactions. Here we're going to select contact because we know that the errors we've got are on our Vodafone invoices. And there we are able to pick up our four Vodafone invoices at zero. We could add a further condition. So let's look at if we wanted to add a date. So if we wanted a specific date range, if, if we knew that the mistakes didn't happen until May, for example, we could go to May, from May to August, and update our search. And then we would have only three transactions. Now the option here is to find the transactions that match all the conditions, you can change that to any condition. So you'll see what it's done here is it's picked up the Vodafone transactions, but it's also picked up all other transactions between these two dates. Clearly that's not what we need, but it just shows you what you can do. So we'll revert back to all and update our search. And we'll remove this date because we want all four invoices. We've got our four invoices listed. If we're not sure if they're relevant, we can click on them and it lets us drill down. So you can say, yeah, it's been coded incorrectly to subscriptions. I'm interested in that transaction. So we'll go back to our list of four and we can select them all or there's still flexibility here. If we only wanted three of them, we could select three. I'm going to select them all and then we're going to click on recode. Now it gives us two options. Recode the source transaction, which means go to the original invoice and change the code and of it. Second option, recode with a manual journal, would put through and adjust an entry. So the original invoice would still be coded to subscriptions, but then you would have an adjustment moving that cost to the correct code. I prefer the recode source transaction. Now Zero said, okay, what do you want to recode? Well, it's the account that we want to change and we want to change it to telephone. And then we just click on review. We get a wee warning message. It confirms that it's going to amend four transactions and it just tells you this might take several minutes. It's usually quite quick, but if you were doing loads and loads of transactions, you would need a little bit of patience. And we go for confirm. 
And then it takes us to a recode summary where we can see the four transactions that have been recoded. And if we click on one, you can see now it's coded to telephone and internet. And if you click on show history, you can actually just see this on my screen. You can see that the transaction has been recoded and you can click on show pre-recoded. And again, you'll only just see that on the screen, but you can see that previously it was coded to subscriptions. I can't stress how powerful this is in Xero. You can recode hundreds of transactions all at once by using this option. I've never seen anything like this and a piece of accounting software before. It's amazing. Play around with it, see how you get on. I'm absolutely convinced you will love it. And why don't you subscribe to the channel so that you can see our new videos as they appear, giving you great tips on how to be a smart Xero user and how to get more out of Xero.